In this lesson, we'll talk about finding holes from percentages. So we have 27 is 72% of what number? This is like you got 27 correct on a test and you got 72% and you wanna know, well, how many, how many problems were on the test? What was the whole number of test items? Okay, so remember A divided by B is the percentage or the part over the whole gives you the percentage. And we can use um, an equation. We can simply translate this into math, mathematical terms. So 27 simply translates to 27. Is means equals. 72% will make a percent into a decimal by dividing by 100. And that becomes 0 and 72 hundredths. Of in math means to multiply. And what number? We simply use a variable. So now we have a mathematical equation. 27 is what percent of what is 72 percent of what number? Okay. Now I have n with my 72 hundredths, so I'm simply going to isolate that variable by using the inverse operation. Divide by 72 hundredths on that side and divide by 72 hundredths on that side. When I do that, n equals 37 and a half. So if you got 27 out of 37 and a half total points possible, you got a 72%. We can also do this using proportions. So if I set up a proportion, let me do that a little bit higher. Put my proportion over here. Okay, I'm going to go with the percent first. 72% is 72 over 100. That's easy easy uh, ratio to write. Now, I want to know what's the part and what's the whole. Of tells me the whole is coming next. I'm going to put my n as the denominator. That's the whole. Remember, the whole goes on the, as the denominator. And 27 is the part. So 27 over some number is 72%. Now we do cross products. 72 times n equals 27 times 100. Okay. Then we have 72n, and I'll simplify this side, is 2700, and isolate this variable by dividing by 72 on both sides of the equation. That cancels, and n equals 37 and a half. When we divide 2700 by 72, you get 37 and a half. And that's the end of our lesson on finding holes from percentage.